India. India's history goes back to one of the first great civilizations in the world. Fixed settlements and cultivation of crops such as wheat and barley, and also breeding of cows, sheep, and goats were introduced sometimes around 7,000 BC. In India, there was also a sign, a sign that told everyone about yourself without any words. Yeah, we're talking about the caste system. Caste is a type of hierarchical social groupings that exist in the Indian system. It was first used by the Portuguese to describe the classifications that they found in India around the 16th century. It was a mark that showed what classifications the humans had when they were born and they were about to live with that caste as a road in life. You lived in what caste you were born in, but if you was about to get married, the lowest caste was given to the couple. The caste was a mark that showed what kind of thing you couldn't and could do, and even what work you were obliged to work with. Thank you. Hello, welcome to ADD India. 15 people dead in a train accident near the capital. People are protesting against the rising petrol prices, and 36 people have died in the heat. Last night, 15 people died in a train accident near the capital, when the driver of Happy Express overshot the signal and collided with the station train. One of the wagons caught on fire, three others derailed on the impact, a total of 50 people died in the accident, and an additional 70 were injured. The people are rioting all over the country. They have gone out in a large protest against the rise of the petrol prices. They claim the rise was unjustified and that it would break the backbone of a common man. The reason for the rising price is, according to the parliament, to ensure the profit of the oil companies. But not only does the oil companies already make a large profit, the government also makes a large profit in form of tax. The government blames the rising prices on the falling rupee and not on taxes and profits. Farm activists have gone so far that they started to burn government effigies in protest against the race and the people demand lowering of the price. All over the country people have started dying in the heat. In the 44.9 Celsius degrees people cannot work and those who do die. 36 people have died. Here in India, our population is an amount of approximately uh, 1.3 billion people, uh, which makes us the second world uh, biggest country in all world uh, after China. Uh, this also makes us the biggest democracy in on this planet. Uh, the total population of India is about the size of uh, all EU. This makes the conditions here much harder to survive. Children are working in sweatshops and their parents are struggling uh, their whole lives trying to earn a place in our society. Uh, the work is also getting more complicated because of the caste systems. The caste system uh, is an ancient way of uh, dividing the families into society. This is based on the value value of the person's life, uh, roughly expressed. Um, it's almost like the Middle Age when the nobilities were the most valued along with the priests and the peasants were not, um, were not, uh, did not matter in society. The only difference is that the caste system is, divi is divided into over 3,000 different uh, names and uh, over different castes and with every single one of them uh, they have unique names uh, the caste system is for forbidden in India and uh, but is almost still in use everywhere uh, for an example a complication have been revealed in work workplaces and are often happening if the boss of the employee have a lower caste which makes him he might refuse to listen to him uh, because you have a much lower level. Uh, I think that's uh, all for me. Back to you in the studio with uh, two amazing writers and interview that I will look on later. Thank you, David. We are sitting here with two important writers of our time, Roy Arundhati and Kushwant Singh. How old are you guys? 
I am currently 37 years. I'm on the, I know I live in New Delhi. And uh, I'm 97 years old. That's astonishing. When were you born then? I uh, was born on the 2nd of February 1915 in uh, British Rai. Uh, it's a what it was a beautiful day. My uh, mother used to say. British Rai. I'm not sure everyone knows what that is. Can you explain a bit further? Ah, uh, British Rai. Uh, it was uh, it was once uh, a part of India that uh, the Britons had uh, colonized, uh, but uh, now I uh, think it's a uh, part of Pakistan. Have you always wanted to be a writer? I used to be an architect, but uh, then the writing took over hand, and my pencil built up. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm working with a new movie script uh, for my book. And what about you, Kushwant? I uh, started my uh, working career as an uh, editor for uh, Indian newspapers. Uh, but I never really quite liked it there, so uh, I quit and uh, started as... Uh, writer for uh, novels and uh, books. So you always wanted to be a writer? Yes, I uh, guess you can say so. We've actually got both your books here. Roy, what is this yours really about? Uh, my, my book is mostly about the caste system in India, how the, how the caste system separating love. It is a novel that might remind people about uh, Romeo and Julia. How forbidden love uh, is only makes it stronger and uh, affects our society. You have won many awards for your book. Which one are you most proud of? Uh, I won a Booker Prize, uh, which is a very prestigious uh, award in uh, Great Britain. Then we have Kushman's book. A book that has been reviewed by a couple of well-known authors. You know which book I'm talking about, right? Yes, the Sunset Club, uh, released in uh, 2009, uh, if I don't remember it all wrong. It was actually 2010 to be more exact. Ah, uh, yes, uh, to make a long story short, it's about uh, three men living in their uh, twilight of their lives. Uh, so they are spending a year together in uh, Delhi, in India. Uh, together they, they are uh, sharing dreams and they are uh, commenting on uh, headline, headlines I mean, and uh, scandals that are happening around the world. Um, so together they are like sitting on a metaphorical uh, parch bank. And thank you for a wonderful interview. Thank you. Yes, y yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank and thank you. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. a lovely day for camel racing here in India. Uh, you can really feel the tickling feeling in your stomach. Uh, I'm standing here outside the stadium of camel racing in Delhi in India. Um, today is the last race of the national series and uh, as we all know it will be a thrilling race in the last second, in two the last second. Uh, the favorite camel is uh, Charles Franklin. Uh, he's a four year, four year old camel and uh, has really shocked the world uh, for his great running skills. Uh, but uh, honestly, my personal favorite is uh, Shukuwaka. He's uh, brown and he's uh, very cute. Uh, but uh, I will uh, be silent now during the day so you really can enjoy it.
For you, we will see you tomorrow with new news. Action. The caste systems uh, is an ancient way of uh, dividing the families into societies.